Hi there, my name is Phil Carter. I'm the Chief Analyst for IDC in Europe, and I'd like to welcome you to this special update on how the industrial internet of things is being reshaped by 5G, AI, Edge, the cloud, uh, and high-performance computing, all of these very exciting new and emerging technologies. IDC and ANSYS recently convened a roundtable of some of the top CTOs from around the world across multiple industries to discuss this fascinating and very critical topic for the industry. Yes, and I'm Fred Banerjee. I'm CTO at ANSYS. And so during this informative, interactive session, we heard how technology leaders are helping their organizations to pivot in order to take advantage of these breakthrough technologies and to deliver unprecedented value to their companies. So Phil and I would like to share some of our key takeaways from this fantastic roundtable. Yeah, it was, it was a really fascinating session, as you say, Prith, and we broke it up into to two broad sections. Um, the first section, which I will highlight, we'll talk about up front, is, was the, the use case session. So we looked at different industries adopting the industrial uh, Internet of Things, particularly from an industrial, so from a process manufacturing side and then also from an automotive manufacturing, uh, automotive perspective. And the range of use cases was amazing that was talked about. So we talked about digital twin, we talked about remote operations, digital simulation, uh, inspection, gas inspection leaks uh, from across various uh, environments in, a, in an oil, so gas refinery, uh, smart helmets, a uh, fascinating use case that was highlighted. But my key takeaway was that the industry needs to move away from what could be done, but more towards what should be done. So more prescriptive in terms of the outcomes. And there was a really useful framework that was surfaced in terms of differentiating the use cases between high impact use cases that are more feature rich and, and product specific versus the longer tail of use cases, which might require a different approach in terms of harvesting uh, the innovation in a scalable fashion and delivering the outcomes along those lines. What clearly needs to be done moving forward is a, a, a more of a focus on the business metrics associated with the adoption of these use cases and then the value realization through the implementation of them as these new technologies are explored uh, linked to the to the adoption of the business initiatives. So, uh, Prith, maybe you can expand a bit more on, on the enabling technologies and, and what you learned from uh, the, the roundtable in that perspective. Absolutely. So, uh, so following the session that uh, Phil led, we had a discussion on sort of key enabling technologies. So when you look at industrial IoT, you start with these assets on which you have to put sensors on the assets to collect the data. And so we talked about the technology of sensors and how you have to do low power sensors and smart sensors and so on. Once you get the sensors, then you have to connect the data. And so we talked about how 5G and 6G technologies are being developed to, to connect the data with really, really low latency and high bandwidth. And once you collect the data, you have to move it to the cloud for, for analysis. And clearly you cannot do all the analytics on the cloud. So you do some of the analytics on the edge and others on the cloud. And the analytics that you do are enabled by high performance computing, both on the edge and on the cloud. So we talked about the fact that while 3G, 4G, 5 uh, was more talking about connecting the 7 billion humans on Earth, the future is all about connecting the IoT, the industrial Internet of Things, which is 50 billion to 100 billion devices. So that will generate a lot of data. And so all of that will require tremendous of our analytics and AI and machine learning to drive it to make it into a truly smart, intelligent, industrial internet of things. So it was a fantastic discussion. So you can see why we were so excited to host this roundtable. And we actually started to build a, an ecosystem driven technology roadmap. So getting inputs from all of the CTOs, building out that use case journey across the short, medium and longer term, but really trying to highlight what uh, which use cases should fit and in which horizon. Uh, but as you can imagine, Prith and I were only able to scratch the, the surface of all of these fascinating and exciting topics that we talked about during the session. So if you'd like to learn more, I encourage you to download 
the executive summary of our roundtable. I promise you will learn a lot more about the ever-changing business landscape, and you'll come away with some practical tips on how to initiate that change in your organization.